So I teach fifth grade and we got a new math curriculum this year. And so I'm flipping through it and I'm creating slides and I got to a place where we're starting to talk about two digit by two digit multiplication, but they showed this way to multiply that absolutely blew my mind. And I have no idea why it works. I haven't looked into it at all. Um, but it works. This particular type of multiplication actually has a special name. It is called the Russian peasant method for multiplication. No offense intended to Russian peasants out there. Let's consider an example real quick, like 16 times 10, which I'm guessing you already know is 160. What this method says to do is on the left side of this table, we are going to divide whatever number is there in half as many times as we can until we get down to one. Of course, not all numbers divide nicely by two. And so anytime we have a remainder in this process, we're just going to ignore it. Now, 16 does divide quite nicely by two because 16 is itself a power of two. 16 divided by two is eight, divided by two is four, divided by two is two, divided by two is one. So that's the left side of our table. On the right side of the table, we do the opposite. We're going to double over and over again. So 10 times two is 20, times two is 40, times two is 80, times two is 160. At the end of this process, we keep any rows that had odd numbers on the left side, we add all all of those values from the right side together and we get the product of our original two factors. Indeed, you can see here 160. In the case of a power of two, like 16, we can see really easily why this multiplication works. Every half of whatever was above it on the left side of our table is matched with a doubling on the right side of our table. And so whatever we end up with at the end of the process just is our product. In fact, we can even check and see at every row along the way, if we just multiply the two numbers together, we're retaining the same product of 160 that we could have seen from the very beginning in the process. But what if what we start with isn't a nice power of two like 16? Imagine that we start with 17 instead. So now I wanna use this method to multiply 17 times 10. 17 divided by two is eight, remainder one. But again, we don't care about the remainders. Eight divided by two is four, four divided by two is two, and two divided by two is one. So the left side of our table actually looks quite a bit like it did a moment ago. On the right side, same thing, we're going to double up for every row we have, 10, 20, 40, 80, and 160. Again, these two tables look almost identical, but this time there are two odd numbers on the left, and that means there are two values on the right to keep and add together. And of course, 160 plus 10 makes 170. So the method has worked again. It's at this point that hopefully you can start to get a sense of why this method is working. 